Scotland. The land of enlightenment. The land of progress. The land of science. The land of industry. The Glasgow City Council wants to modernize the transport infrastructure so that the city remains the vibrant industrial metropolis that it is today in the future as well. With your transport company, you're as good as predestined for this sort of contract. The shipyards on the Firth of Clyde have been famous for their sturdy boats for quite some time. New processes for the mass production of high-quality steel are now opening up previously undreamt of possibilities. A member of the City Council recently proposed to you during a pheasant hunt whether you'd like to supply his friends in the shipbuilding industry with this essential material. Coal and iron are available in abundance in the areas around Glasgow. Off to the blast furnace with them. The shipyards crave steel for colossal tubs. The bigger the better. But it doesn't get there all by itself.
your deliveries of high quality steel make it possible to build particularly seaworthy ships. Time to make use of these robust steamers. Sustenance for the city's working masses is found out on the islands. Delectable fish swim in the sea. And the distilleries on the Hebrides produce an absolutely exquisite whiskey. It's called the Water of Life. Get out. Every ship needs a harbor, and your venture needs a particularly good one. Help to build a shipyard so that it won't be long before you can call a beautiful ship your own. Buy a stately boat that will sail you safely through the wild waters of the Western Isles on your daring expedition. Explore the Western Isles to obtain whiskey for the city. Industry is buzzing. Thanks to your services, its need for steel is always covered. In contrast, a lack of personnel looms on the horizon. Nowadays, the city's working class is outrageously spoiled. The workforce is rebelling more and more against the prevailing working conditions. On the other hand, in the highlands, countless hungry people wait gratefully for employment. All that needs to be done is to get them to the city. Build a railroad in the wild west of the highlands so that this remote stretch of land finally experiences the blessings of modern civilization. Supply the city of Glasgow with workers none the worse for wear who haven't fallen victim to the union's pipe dreams yet. These days, big landowners' fleecy balls of wool now graze where families of farmers once cultivated their patches. Lady MacDougall asks for help. She wants to know if all her little sheep are still together.
help with accounting and look to see if all the sheep are still there. All the people in charge have dozed off from all the counting. Oh, oh. what's going? workers from the highlands are remarkably productive as they slave away. 
to keep them in a good mood and make sure they don't fall for any kinds of rebellious activities, precautionary sedation is called for. Whiskey from the Western Isles is excellently suited to this purpose. Supply the city with cheap booze that pacifies the dissatisfied so that subversive activities don't get started. Plunge into the wonderful world of spirits. Thanks to your supply, no one will be left high and dry. Without fail, some of the whiskey oddly disappears in transit. Is it likely that it evaporates out on the open seas? Is it the legendary angel share that imperceptibly vanishes there? If it is, then the angels must be awfully thirsty. A ship sails through the locks of the Inner Hebrides, rolling from side to side in peculiar curves. Word has it that cheerful singing coming from the steamer was heard on shore. Captain Klein says the ferrymen are very poorly paid, so they might have occasionally treated themselves to a sip from the cargo. That just won't do, of course. If at all, then they ought to get drunk like self-respecting people do it, inside a good pub where it's nice and cozy.
do, throats are well lubricated all over Glasgow. But on an empty stomach, the water of life makes people anything but lively. What's required is a sound basis in the form of solid food. A new dish is currently on everyone's lips. Deep fried fish with deep fried potatoes. What a culinary delight. Help this masterpiece of British cuisine to triumphant progress. Your services are going to stuff the city's jaws and provide fishing operations on the Atlantic with record sales. Fish out in the Atlantic leap happily into the nets, all on their own. Thanks to the railroad, the merchandise is even still fresh when it arrives in town. A mysterious stone circle is going to transport you into the past, where you can help James Fraser, an equally courageous and passionate man, to win the decisive Battle of Culloden against the English Redcoats and write history in the process. Slime chair, as they say around here. Lately, people have been quenching their thirst and staying dry at the same time.
The stones don't reveal their secret to just anyone. Prove that you are worthy of their wonders. How is this achieved? Well, that's written in the stars. The secret of the stones has been revealed. Although they didn't teleport you back to 1746, it was only to last Monday morning. But maybe that is better than waking up in the midst of the field. 